we draw from the front plane sketch pan the drawing to the left press control middle mouse and you drag draw a center line approximately Ninety. Escape. Draw center point up. Click the center point. Drag to the right. Click on the center line and move up. Click. Okay. Dimension the radius. Draw a line. Draw a vertical line. Draw a horizontal line. Draw another vertical line. Draw another horizontal line. Up. And you're not click, click escape at relation, make the center point of the arc and the line and the construction line coincident. Send the line out. Let's trim this portion away. Give a dimension. Radius 35. The distance from here to the center <coughs> of the arc is 180 This line here is 50 mm Let's dimension this line and the center line Bring down a little bit to have a diameter of 1 one one five. The sketch is fully defined. Let's mirror. Click here the mirror entity. Click the mirror entity. Entity to mirror. Select all the up here. The line. So mirror about the center line. Click OK. Next, we draw a circle. Dimension it 40.
Now we are going to draw a slot. A slot here. Click. Switch slot. Click, click coincident to the construction line. Click again another on the construction line. Drag the mouse up. Click. Dimension. Now we can dimension this part to 65. Double click this dimension. Change to 65. and dimension from origin to end point of this way. escape us do a dimension from origin to the to here 65 so the sketch is fully defined you can drag your dimension so they don't look so clutter ok remove this dimension add a radius of 12.5 ok now and to to change to 12.5 without the two extra zero, click the dimension. Come over here, click and, and save point 0.1. So you have 12.5. So now we are going to Now we are going to click here, sketch chamber, angle distance, chop, and 45. Click, click. So our sketch is fully defined, and we can extrude. Extra boss base, say make 10 mm. Oh. Okay, the sketch is the model is completed. Thanks for watching the video.